if you want to discover the joy of learning and you are willing to go beyond the traditional sources of information then this is the right place for you this video will focus on organization as machine and its perspective on leadership and change this metaphor refers to the images of organization a book which is written by Gareth Morgan and he lays out eight metaphors of an organization like organization as a machine, organization as a brain, cultural system, political system, psychic prison, instrument of domination and flux and transformation. Actually, these metaphors expose us to new ways of seeing our organizations, ourselves and others we work with. People who see organizations as machines want a profound sense of order and control. They strive for neatly partitioned roles and seek interchangeable people to fill those roles. Above all, they expect logic and reason to always win the day. One factor contributing to the limited success of organizational change initiative is the use of an outmoded conceptual model, the organization as machine. This metaphor leads to the creation of detailed blueprints for desired changes, invites unrealistic expectations of control, and creates an anxiety and defensiveness when events inevitably do not proceed according to the plan, thus hindering the work act ultimately. According to this metaphor, when things are going well, the machine is well oiled, running like clockwork, but when the going gets tough, we say that things need fixing because there's a spanner in the works and we need to get to the nuts and bolts of the issue. A machine has many parts, some more important than others. Each part does a single job to produce the same output or outcome each time. In an organization that works like a machine, each person has a job, some more important than others, and something is produced than looks alike each time. Organizations often described as machines include the fast food industry, franchising system, surgical wars, and courier firms. This approach may work in certain situations. However, it has proven to be less effective when there is a complex organizational transformations or renewal. There are various complexities and difficult to chart process of organizational learning and adaptation that are not considered in the machine metaphor. But when this metaphor works, Actually, it works in the same context as when machines do. For example, when there is a straightforward task, a stable environment, a repeated and repeatable outcome, and a focus on precision. But the next question is, when this metaphor fails, when the environmental changes, and when employees crave a greater sense of purpose and human and agency. And what this metaphor says about organizational change. People who hold this view think that change is a matter of shutting down, replacing a cog, and easily resuming production. Obviously, this overlooks how people actually think and feel about change. But where is the leadership? And what this metaphor means for leadership? Under this paradigm, leaders think and workers do. It is the duty of a leader to lay out exact requirements for everyday role, every role, and swap people out when there is an underperformance. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel and click at bell icon. See you in the next new video.